Hello, hello everyone. Welcome, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own boot up, uh, cold boot, and sound. So first, head over to my website, go to XMB, and go on here, and download this right here, and then save it somewhere. All right, let it come down. There you go. It's just finished. And then um, here it is. Extract it. All right, so I'm going to put this one over here, throw this one in the bin, and then let's load this up. And here you go, you got all the stuff right here. So let's go into um, right here to the install stuff, and let's install the this thing here. We're going to need this. So yeah, just install it. Alright, once that's done, go ahead and, uh, so it's open for me as you can see, but I'm just going to show you like how to open it again, so I'm just going to keep closing this stuff. Alright, double click on it, and then I'm just going to hit no, and now set it to what I do, so it needs to be a AC3 right there as you can see and I'll hit open and look for change it to all audio basically there you go set it um, this is my song I'm going to use but you can use any songs you want there is some you can pick through from this folder as well I'm just going to go with this one though so let that load alright there you go so hit set timer so I want it to start at the start and I'm going to play the song and then stop it um, so, and now stop and then set end and then hit apply trim okay once it's done we just need to go to configuration and go to here and change this to what I do like that and then we're gonna hit apply and then we're gonna hit OK And then encode. I'm going to go to encode. And then there it is. We're going to pull up a the folder again with the cold boot stuff in. And pull up this text and copy the top text first. So let's hit copy. And paste that over. Yeah, like that. Save that as well. I'm just going to hit close. And then there you go. You've got your first one there gonna have to do that again but do something different this time so let's go back up to config again and change it this time to multisonic yeah I'm gonna hit apply and OK and re encode again and now we're gonna copy the second text and paste that in as well and that's pretty much done for the cold boot sound so yeah there it is you've got your cold boot sounds all right so there you go all right so now we're going to copy these two uh into a folder we're going to um you don't really need to yet because we're going to throw it all on a usb stick but i'm just going to throw it in here for now in this folder Um, so, yeah, um, we need to now run another program, and this is to make our, uh, cold boot logo, so pick a photo, or an icon, um, so I'm going with this one here, and then there you go, you can show in preview, so that's what it will look like on the PS3 when you boot up your console. And you can change it, you can customize where the logo is, so you can little play around with it, as you can see I'm changing them. There's custom as well, so you can change it whatever you want. And there you go. And we're just going to go right center, and once you're happy with it, you got to go to convert. And there you go, it should create a folder for you, so it's done, okay. And it should create a folder on uh, it created it on my desktop right here 
And here you go, you've got your cold boot um, file in there now, and the preview of what it looked like before. So I'm just going to copy all this stuff onto here now in this folder. And then basically that's what it's going to look like on the PS3 when we boot it up. Uh, just the logo, not not the waves behind it. You see, just just the logo. Okay, plug in a USB stick and make sure that it is in the correct format. So I'm going to show you in a second. There you go, my USB is here. Go to properties and make sure it's FAT32. And now what we're going to do is just drag all of our files that are in this folder onto the root of the USB and. That's basically it. We can go to the PS3 after that, uh, but eject the USB stick now. Yeah. So here we go, eject the USB, and I'll see you at the PS3. Alright, at the PS3. So, by the way, this, only, this does not work for 4.91. I tried it, but it doesn't work. Anything lower than 4.91 works. So we're going to hit triangle, file address entry, Type in the website ps3exploit.me and we're going to go to here. As you can see, just follow where I'm going and click on that. And there you go. It does tell you right there 4.90 is the latest for this. Select the right, make sure you plugged your USB in as well. I plugged mine into the right port. So it's, you can change the uh, the path though. As you can see, look, I'm highlighting the firmware. I should have really told you at the start of the video that it does not support 4.91. But, uh, yeah, look, you can change the USB slot. There you go, just hit that. And there you go. If it doesn't work, um, so here we go, I'm just going to wait for it to load. It can take a few moments. Here you go. Um, so I'm going to pause it in a moment because this took a while for me. And here we go. And it says failed. So what I do is uh, hold circle to close up the page, but first I'm going to hit select to save it to my bookmarks and now I'm going to hold circle. Okay, once I've closed out it, I'm going to reopen it up. We're going to hit select and then we're going to hit load up the uh, page again that we saved. Alright, and now we're going to try it again and hopefully this time it works. Okay, there you go. So that's working, and just hit the next one, and there you go, it reboots. And there you go, that's our cold boot and sound. Pretty cool, eh? So, I hope this tutorial helped you all out, and if it did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.